Hey YouTube, today I have a review of Real Director for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. When we open the app, it presents us with all the projects that we're working on. If we go up to the top left, we can create a new project. Let's name it YouTube Demo. We can change the text and style, and we can also um, put in a subtitle, so we can, we can name that subtitle. We can also edit our end credits. I like to say thanks for watching and then in the subtitle please rate, comment, and subscribe. Alright, so now we click done and it opens up a new project for us. After entering the project we can go back and edit the title and end credits by clicking the little wrench button in, in the top right corner. By clicking the plus button in the top right corner we can have videos, photos, or music that you have downloaded through iTunes or record your own sound. If we choose to add a video or photo, it will bring up our photos album where we can select what we would like to import. If we select a video, it will give us the option to play it back and then also use that video. It will then compress the video, so after compressing the video, the video will automatically show up on the timeline at the top of the app. If we click on the video on the timeline, it gives us many options. We can delete it, play it, crop it, cut it, or even add a title. If we select to crop it, we can pinch to zoom, zoom out, really just change the image however we'd like. If we select the option to cut the video, two sub-tabs come up where you can either trim the video or split the video. When trimming the video, we will only keep the parts of the video that are in between the two cursors. So if we select done, we can keep the we can make this the final trim or we can also choose to keep the original. Let's keep the original. Now we'll trim the video so it's only between the two cursor times. If we decide to split the video, it will divide the video into three sections and these three sections we can change by using two cursors. If we select the option to add a title, here we can edit the title, name it anything we'd like. We can also change the font, change the size of the font, and we can also change the style. There's many styles to choose from. Here's an example of a title that I made. To adjust the order of your clips, you can drag them around on the timeline at the top. When you're done editing your video, you can back out and render it. Obviously I can't render this because there's no content in it, but to render a 3 minute video it takes about 10 minutes. After rendering you can export it to YouTube or save it to your Photos app. I do not recommend exporting it to YouTube through this app. What I do is I export it to my Photos app and then from there I put it onto YouTube. Overall I give this app a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It is a good video editing app and a great alternative to iMovie. Thanks for watching.